Yeah, square business, man. What it do, man? What it do? Shit, man. You know, I appreciate y'all tapping in, you know what I'm saying? It's hot in the motherfucker in this goddamn room. They need to cut that AC on. But it's all good, man. Murder One, we got a South Park Coalition legend in the building, man. Oh, you know, I appreciate you tapping in. And we got That's a most sure. city legend in the building, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Murder One. Yo. Shit, man. Talk about Murder One before SPC. Before Damn. that SPC journey and all that, man. Talk about who Murder One was. Damn. Murder <laughs> One was just a little dude right, uh, walking down the street, jamming music at the boom box back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a couple of my homeboys that with me now kind of saw me and asked me to be in a group. I didn't know how to write rhymes, stuff like that. But, but before that, my old man was the only one recording people in, in the neighborhood. So I was already into music. I just wasn't into recording. Oh, your old man was recording? Oh, yeah. He was first to record in the South Park. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who yes, was sir. your old man? He, so he was the first engineer? They called him Daddy Rich. Uh, but he's, uh, you know, Richard Thomas. He was doing recording off the, uh, the two-inch reels yeah. back then, and uh, that's when I got my first set of turntables because I was DJing also, and I got with my homeboy Guest and DJ Great formed a group called I3 Dev. Yeah. Well, uh, Great. Uh, well, Guest now known as Victor Slick. Now he was doing all the writing until I I learned how to use that pen, and then when I started using the pen, he kind of got to himself. You know, kind of got different. Because I started to get the starlight, and he that's what he always wanted. Yeah. And uh, then I pushed on to ballot. You know, we battle rappers from, from Jones to Sterling to with Big Mello, all them cats, K yeah. Reno, and all them. We used to battle Reno them. That's how I got cool with Reno after uh, him and Gangsta Nip battle. So we doing that. I was DJing clubs. Well, I wasn't DJing. No, I wasn't DJing. I was DJing house parties. It wasn't clubs. Yeah. So I was DJing house parties, and I was, you know selling mixtapes to make money in high school, hmm. stuff like that, you know, and then moved on to SBC in 87. So, okay, so around this time when you're doing all that, this in the mid-80s? Yeah, uh, 79, 80, something so like that. Let yeah. me ask you this. What was, and we're going to get, I just want to go a little bit off track. So what was, because screw music was, I heard back then made by Michael Price, somebody, no, something no, like no, that? No, 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 sir. Okay, so, so what came? Daryl Scott, Blastmaster Daryl yeah. Scott. So it, it wasn't screw music. It was slowed down, but it wasn't screw music. Screw music came back in when the the drug epidemic came back around in the night early nineties. Yeah. Then the screw music came out. Michael Price was doing it over at Yates. Yeah, yeah. But Dale Scott was doing it around the whole city. Was he was he doing it at the same time you was doing your DJ thing? Who that Dale? What's Mike? Uh, we, uh, um, uh, Dale Scott. I mean, he was our OG. Okay. Yeah, he's our OG. Okay, we yeah. just tell him to. And the people out there, to Dale Scott, mixtapes start... Zero to 15 and a half, 13 and a half, 14 uh, uh, and a half, Around, around what year, would you say? Oh, I got into Dale Scott, it was like maybe 83. All right. He was doing... Slow down music. No, it wasn't slow down. Oh, it wasn't slow down. See, okay. see, back then, when you DJ, you had two different things. You had a speed. Yeah. It was 33 and a half and, and 45. 45 made the record go slow. Yeah. So when Daryl Scott was mixing songs, any mm. DJ blend songs, you got to make it faster or slow up, or make it the same level. Yeah. So it was slow, but we didn't know it was slow because when we was coming, it was more slabs. It wasn't drugs. Drugs came in the early 90s. So that's when Screw came out the Woodworks. So when Screw came out, everything was slow, loud, and banging. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It was slabs, yeah. but that wasn't really named for slab. Yeah. I mean, it was slabs, it wasn't slow, loud, and banging. Trading them came up with that. Yeah, slow yeah. Bang it. Slap, you know, slap was slap. Boys riding with swingers, you know, hitting the boulevard so, every week, every day. So check it out. You know what? Uh, to to what he's saying, to what it is. I I probably heard the first Daryl Scott mixtape like eighty six, eighty seven. Yeah, wait for it. So that. you're gonna have a list to some songs that fit the name, to the tape, to the mix. Right, right, to, yeah, right He yeah. was the first person that had slowed down music on his tape right. to the pitch to what Murder One said right, before pitch, right. Michael yeah. Price as a, as compared to like, you know, uh, the intro right. to the outro. Right. So the outro might be a slow down song. Right. So Michael Price and Screw Them had, it, all, all of it was regular speed. Right. And then 
when they got to it and touched it, they, you know, screw ran and through the machine. To it. Too. Right. And, but Michael Price to Yates to the one, two. So it'd probably be one, two, three like that. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah now with well, screw was first. So, <laughs> yeah. ain't, ain't no hesitant about that. He was the first one to do it. So, you know, check this out, man. You know, anybody watch my, my this podcast, you already know I'm big on paying homage. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm big on, nigga, what you grew up listening to, that type of shit. I grew up listening to South Park Coalition, Killer Clan. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you know, I got my East Coast influence, but mainly I'm Houston influence. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. But the most. Well, wasn't nobody else doing it besides us and rap a lot. So it's, you had to listen. And we were just so dominant because we had so many, uh, like I said, everybody in the South Pole Coalition started with battle rappers. So so before the screwed up click, which is probably one of the most popular things coming up out of Houston. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one of them, with yeah. credit With credits due, you know. Right. You got in TSF, you know, they got their thing going on, credit, credit due. But let me say this before but, you say something else. Go. Screw was in South Pole Coalition. I was getting ready to go. Okay, so, okay, whoa. Yeah, let's keep going, nigga. Now, I don't want to, yeah, you yeah. know. Well, you know. Uh, how does SPC form? Because that's what I was finna ask you. Well, it's formed a battle rapper. How did it Everybody who battled Reno came in South Pole Coalition. Me, Nip, Klondike Cat, AC Chill. Uh, and, you know, Reno had his boys over there. He had Rapper K. He had uh, GT. He had Prepper J. But. He he fought SPC was before I ever got in. I was I'm a year later at SPC. Okay. I mean, as as a whole, it was him and his homeboys who went to Sterling with him. But okay. when he formed it, the whole big form of a energy connected battle rappers, he put all us. I was maybe one of the two, second or third person in, in the clique. So K Reno formed. It. Yeah, Reno. Yeah, it was like yeah. everything was Reno idea. Shout out to K Reno. Yeah, yeah, it was his idea. Yeah, yeah. The founder. So, boy, you get a real history lesson. Yeah, that's a real yeah. history lesson, man. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, so who was who was name wise? Who was the first original members? Because you know you got. Well, you, you mean before the his school homeboys? Or no, school. I'm talking about when that shit started. Oh, once it started, who, the, you know me, Cat. I'm gonna speak on Jones. Yeah. On our high school, the the top rappers were me, Gangsta Nip, AC Chill, and Klondike Cat, and uh, Aries, AC uh, Mafia Genie. Yeah. And we had some old cats, you know, but from my school, DBX, you had a lot of them. DBX was over there at Sterling with K okay. Reno. Okay. So we ain't going to never, DBX a, a beast itself. Yeah, but I'm just beast. speaking on what yeah. my school joined okay. the click. Because when I got in, Nip came in, and Nip came in, Cat came in. Well, Cat actually came into the click in 91 because yeah. he was running with Street Military. That's why he had a lot of songs. Right, right. right. He, yeah, exactly. Cat came later. Exactly. Dopey of the Terrorist came in 89. Yeah. When uh, KO, the, our hook maker, uh, hooked him and Reno them up. And then we, we formed a record company called Radical Records. Yeah. So, you know, back then, you know what I'm saying, you had to be original. Like, like I, I know Houston hip-hop history like the back of my hand. You know what I'm right. saying? I, I know when it transitioned to the screw period, right? Most people was not feeling that screw period. I'm gonna tell you that's a fact. I'm not. I'm just telling you the facts. It was a rough yeah. transition. My brother was in the penitentiary. <laughs> I used to be like, man, listen to this new little, little, little thing right here. You had Kiki Floor, and I'm gonna come. He like, right. man, that nigga ain't talking well, about it. It wasn't rough to me. It was surprising to me because, so, like I said, for the, for all the clubs, it was us, South Park yeah. Coalition. So I walked in Boomerang one day. Yeah. And I heard the turning lane. I didn't know who the dudes were. Yeah. It was Lil Kiki and Fat Pat. Yeah. And that whole club was wall to wall. That's something that we wasn't used to because we done that. Yeah, yeah. And then, then that's when the screw Y'all had it filled up like that. And it was like, damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm yeah. just walking down the average day trying to yeah. see what's going on. So look, so, you know, the reason why I'm finna go where I'm going is because, you know, your era was an era where you had to be original. Right, like you had time. to be like most you time. couldn't sound like nobody else. You better nigga. not. Nigga gonna tell you quick, nigga. You sound like such such. You know what right. I'm saying? Then when another era came, you can damn near sound like I can. You do what you want to do. Houston, everybody came down when they rap. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But in that era, nigga, you had to stand out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So today. tell me something about some of them studio sessions, man. Because you know you had slipping to a coma. 
uh, Murder Script. <laughs> you know, them songs, them classic songs that we all grew up on. Yeah. I know, I'm speaking for me and the people that grew up on it, bro. Yeah. Like, tell me about some of them studio sessions, how competitive they and were. What and what studio? And where y'all was recording hey, at. What, yeah. stu what studio was Warren South Park recording at, to? Warren South Park was recorded at Maestro, no, I'm sorry, not Maestro, Papillon Sound. Mm. Papillon Sound. All the and other clock. All the other ones was at Harm, over oh, in the clock, not the no, clock, Mo City with uh, R.I.P. Maestro. Mm -hmm. That's where you got yeah, the Maestro, Maestro, Coleman and all that. Yeah. Yeah. But the studio session with Maestro from my hood to That's right. Yeah. I, was, I, I recall his son right today. Yeah. 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 Kendall, Kendall Mosley. I recall this. That's why I do all my recording with his son. Yeah. You uh, know, but uh, the session was, you didn't know what's going to happen in the session. Yeah. Because we're going in uh, 7, 8 o'clock at night and leave. 12 o'clock the next morning. So we don't know what beat we're going to have. We don't know who we're going to follow. Yeah. But you know you better not follow Reno. You better not follow Cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and better not follow AC Chill. Yeah. You follow one of them, you better come with your best because nobody yeah. heard nobody rap. So mm -hmm. when did Blank, when did Point Blank, Blank come Blank came in like 92, 93. Okay. See, a lot of, lot, lot of them came later. See, Blank came in with Dopey or the Terrorist. The terrorist, he brought Blank in. Yeah, Cat was around, but Cat was running with Street Military, so he came later. See, Street Military went to, a, uh, I want to say, they went to a point where they slowed down. Then Cat came around with us. But he was always a part of us, but he did most of his work with Keep Babbin and them and all them over there. Yeah, yeah. So, but the session was like, you don't know who you're going to go behind, and you bet you can't rewrite your rhyme. <laughs> so, so when you come out there, and when you hit your verse and you come out that boot, is it, Man, that shit ain't, we ain't doing that. Or oh, they gonna stop you in the middle of why oh, you no. rap. It, it, they gonna let you embarrass yourself. Yeah. <laughs> because the world gonna hit. Yeah. Once it's it, down, it, it it down, down, ain't no yeah. racing. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no yeah. racing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you came in with, that's what you gonna leave with. Yeah. You so, can't say, let me rewrite nothing. It's, it's done, it's, it's signature. That's it. So when it, when it came down to them 12, 10, 10, 12 minute songs, you know what I'm saying? I heard that come from y'all first in Houston. You well, know, we were. The, uh, Ghetto Boys had Bring It On, but well, they I came, heard, they came from us. Yeah, I heard, I heard y'all yeah. do it first. Yeah, now nah, I'm saying, to... but tell me why, because I know how clicks and shit go. I didn't hear get to hear you on none on now on Murder Script or Slip It To A Coma. Why, like, how did that not happen? You know what I'm saying? Well, some of us didn't hang out with each other in the click. Gotcha. Go. So, the one you know the ones who hung out with each other because you're gonna always be on their project. Yeah, yeah. And I was more, I was more independent. Even though I was cool with my homeboy, I wasn't cool with my homeboy. I'm not saying no beef wise. Yeah, that yeah. I didn't care what you was doing. I just do me. So, you, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, what you think about this that you said that? Cause I'm the kind of person to be like, shit. You know how a nigga be like, I came to the club a hundred deep. Yeah. I be like, nigga, ninety nine. All ninety nine of them niggas behind you, you make the hundred, but. All ninety nine of them niggas do not love you. No, uh, no, no, probably no, probably no, five or six of them. You know what I'm saying? Out that ninety nine that's love work, your motherfucking ass. So you coming to a club a hundred deep, nigga? I know damn well all the motherfuckers don't well, love for you. For one, I rode one, I rode solo my whole career. Yeah, you know, you probably see me and Reno somewhere, but you know, me Reno, AC Chill, Tech Nine, DVX, because they always kept it a hundred plus. But you didn't know what attitude. It was so many egos. You didn't know who you were gonna roll into the club with, because yeah. they'll turn. Some of them turn on each other. I mean, we wasn't just the greatest clique. Some of us who had beef with each other, yeah. but no one beef. knew about it. So let's go to the to go back to what you said. You know what I'm saying? DJ Screw mm -hmm. was first South Park Coalition. How did they talk about it? Man? Well, he was affiliated through K Reno. Gotcha. Like I said, that's he. he Reno, a lot we don't have to really explain that story, but he was part of us because yeah. when he it's. Actually, his first CDs was us yeah. and Sebo. Yeah, but yeah he I know, know that was it. Yeah. So he didn't have his clique to put on CDs. It was us he was putting on the CDs. Yeah, he did a lot of blank. Everybody wasn't pressed up and on wax. Yeah. You know, for what? And really standing out like right. we were. And retail sales right. to commercial right. business. Yeah. That just right. showed the love that Screw got. Screw ain't just, you know. No, Miss, Miss Screw, you know, when yeah. I was deep down at Affinity, they try to try. They try to bring Screw in one night, and uh, he was like, "Nah, I can't do this," because the, the manager didn't want him to screw the music. So Screw was like, "Man, this ain't for me." And he 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 did it one night and left. And, and hold on, let's 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 yeah. clarify this to 
Take a shot. DJ Murder One. Yeah, right. with Ronnie Love there. Ronnie Love. Ronnie Love. <laughs> the switch up to the rapper. To, <laughs> yeah, man, man, we not talking about. Um, <laughs> we not talking about Serato. No, it was, was twelve hundred. Virtual DJ. Take we talking 1200. about the crates. Oh man, I carry many of them. Oh okay. man. So, oh, look, I just asked him. What you had on your needle, a nickel, a quarter, a penny? Whatever I had at that time. To, yeah. that, that have to balance the weight and yeah. everything. I always have to keep a fresh needle. Thank you, man. Yeah. That's yeah. that's how intricate yeah. to what we saying, to the tapes, to the artists, to what was. And a lot of people don't even know our DJs. That's crazy for yeah, me. I didn't know that neither. Yeah. 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 So what you think, who's the most important person to the artist, the DJ or the producer? Both. The DJ sometimes find the music. They both they both got to find the music. So they both balance out. You need the producer, but you also you need the DJ if you're going to bring whatever the producer did. Because a beat is simple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you think, B1? <laughs> Same. Be, be a DJ too now. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Be one DJ, DJ too. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say both. Because yeah. when, when you're performing... And you're with the fans to... Ain't no, ain't, no, ain't, no D, ain't no producer there. Right, the producer is not there. And let me, let me say this. Be one the Young Gunner, man, we done many shows. Yeah. Even though he was B1, the Ice Cube of Houston to me. I always yeah, told him that. business. Then I started calling him B1 the Young Gunner for a reason. Because he every time he flow, he killing something. And he and when I was doing shows and needed hype, man, he didn't say... I'm B1, man. I can't do that for you. We went on many shows out of town, no doubt. and he's been my hype, man. No doubt. Look, no problem that it either. Let me ask you this. And don't give me a biased answer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't know who we are. I'm going to show some love <laughs> to the East Coast a little bit right here. I'm going to lead Texas. I'm going to show some love to the East Coast, but I'm still going to keep a, keep the eyeball on the legend in the South. Right. If a... Who do you think will win in a battle between <clears throat> K Reno? K Reno. K Reno. Uh, no, nah, you can't do listen, that, though, bro. Can't that's not what I'm you just, listen, I don't just, want no bias. You, answer, well, well, I'm, let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you why it's not biased. Wait, hold on, stop. Let you don't even know. Okay, go ahead. Go. Because ahead. Go. Right when I looked at you, it's like, what yeah. kind of. And now, if it, it, now, if it's some bullshit, tell me it's bullshit, okay. the person that he's going oh, against. Okay. But this is a legend, though, got lyrics. Okay. That we grew up on. Okay. K Reno or KRS One? K Reno. K Reno. You see, he beat the brakes off KRS One. I, I, I ain't gonna say beat the brakes out of him. I hear you. But, will, but he, that's that's Reno Idol for one. He beat so the brakes off. So he studied. He said he studied KRS One. He beat the brakes. So he he know. So I knew. What matter of fact, let me say this: a okay. month, okay. a month two ago, KRS One was down here. Yeah. And we was at that concert, and uh, they called Reno off the stage. And did and you know this? I didn't know that. No. Nah. Reno went off. Karis one almost threw his head in the audience. <laughs> That's how bad it was. With a live band, With a live, yeah. to no mic check, to a freestyle, right. to right. delivery and performance. Hey, man, Karis one is uh, he great. He the teacher. Oh, yeah. To improv, to a matter of, but his wordplay would never be K. Reno. Nah, That's nah. why he would lose. Nah. See, when he, let's say this for that battle him and Big Daddy had. Big Daddy going being Big Daddy. Chaos One went as a battle. See, yeah. that would give Reno the ups on Chaos One, too. He don't know what type of battle rapper Reno is. Yeah, so yeah. Reno ain't going to sit here and come do his normal songs. He's going he gonna to come to take your head off. Yeah. So Chaos One just can't go play with him like he was playing Big Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's a difference. You got, Reno's a headhunter. That's yeah. all he is. It was well stated. On sight. On sight. Don't matter when. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I just said so many battles up with Reno that... And put money up, and we just split the money when we walk off. Give me a big, give me a famous battle with K Reno, with with mm. somebody that we know. Gangsta Nip. Oh, him and Nip. Oh yeah, I tell you, we we all battled each other coming up. Yeah, yeah. Give me, give me that. Ain't no squabbling going on, niggas. Just nah, stay. it wasn't about that. It's about who of the hardest rapper it was. Yeah. And okay, you just, it was cool. hey, you come back the next week, hoping you can get get that title again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it, no, nah, it wasn't no fighting. Let me ask you this: How did how did uh uh how did those styles come about? Like, cause Gangsta Nip, you know, he was more horror culture type rap. You know what I'm saying? That came later. Nip was a, lyr a lyricist. I was so a he lyricist. wasn't rapping like that at first. We all wasn't rapping like we rapping now. I, I changed my identity in '89 because there was too many lyric lyricists in the clique. 
That's when Murder One came out of place. I couldn't sit here and say I'm gonna keep trying to keep up with Ringo. Oh, rapping, yeah. I, that's, that's, so I, 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 I had a. That. That's why I got known through my style. I created a style that no one had in the clique. So that's how that yeah. went down. Nip, same thing with Nip. Nip came hard later. Yeah. Nip was rapping like him. And, matter of fact, him and Klondike Cat was in the group together. So they, he was rapping like Cat. Who was Nip? Nip, yeah. You know what? I can kind of hear that a little bit. Yeah, they came, they started together. Yeah, he was. A, he I was didn't a, know they started. A yeah, group at together. Jones, they was a group. They was a group, man. Uh, man, my boy, I guess I told you earlier, Victor Slick, we was a group. AC Chill was by himself. A Reeves was by himself. I'm sorry, Mafia Genie was by himself. You know what? I got, I got, I got something for you. What to, you got? What you got? What's I'm, I'm a stunner. All right, so yeah. we'll we'll go with the. They gonna always say, well, yeah, who? Okay, if if you from Houston and you grew up on the Ghetto Boys and SPC, to who did they grow? Who did they listen to, right? Yeah. <coughs> Talk to me about Royal Flush and Born Twice. <laughs> man, Royal Flush. I battled them many times at the old school Ryan. Talk uh, to me, Jelly. Uh, yeah. Ryan Talk Sarango to me. In 87. And the top, the top ones are going to win. We always came in fourth or fifth, but the top ones was Romeo Poet, Willie D, Royal Flush, and maybe us or Casanova. And Captain and most of them cats are from the north side. Yeah, we from yeah. the south side. But Royal Flush, Rick Royal, R.I.P. to Rick. Rick was the coldest. Oh. Born twice was Kobe. He, he was a DJ. Wait, how long? So Rick was the coldest and then Born Twice was what? He was a DJ. He was a rapper. I saw the greatest battle ever. See, King T. I'm for the bring it home. He from third King War. T from Third War. Yeah, yeah, His name yeah. was Terry T. I saw him and uh, B2 Omega go at it, and I, I thought B2 was the greatest DJ ever. Till he got King T, King T took him out. And so, <laughs> does Born Twice versus King T on him? On the table, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these used to go on in, in the Around Star Star. We We rapped there, we had rap contests and we had concerts. I think I, in the 80s and early 90s, I, rapped, I opened up for every artist came to use. So let me ask you this, can, mm -hmm. we, can we officially say Hip hop in Houston started in the rhinestone ring. It did. I mean, it started. It started. At, no, we can't officially say that because uh, we we had the Big Apple. We had the Big Apple. We had Soka Village. We had the skating ring, South Park skating ring. Okay, well, hey, it's hey, South hey, Park. If, if we said it like that, I would say. Well, for the most part, I would say rhinestone to the north. So hip hop well, started I mean, in South Park. I mean, uh, in Houston, around size, the globe, around the globe, the it, the globe it was rhinestone ring right. around the world. But uh, no, it was. It, we had all. Just on uh, OST and Griggs, you had about five clubs right there alone. Mm. So, yeah. you know, people had to come to this side. You know, we all, no disrespect to North Side, but most of your hardest rappers came from the South Side. But you got some hard rappers on the North Side. You do. I, I, most yeah. definitely. Now, I ran with a lot of them, but you, you, you have to get credit where credit is at. You know, credit is due. No, I I uh I have I have an argument, a debate with my partner right now today about he from the north side. You know, he was talking about the rodeo. God damn, oh, why, matter of fact, why ain't no north side you should, representation you should take a shot in Houston? On that, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take a shot on that. <laughs> why ain't no north side representation? Why Houston is always about the south side when when it's such such. So I just tell him, man, look, we name some artists and I'm gonna compare artists. It ain't about north side got legends. Right. right you know what I'm saying? Right. But when you come down to the rodeo, these people are coming from out of town, so they got to put, you know what I'm Well, see, the rodeo is politics. Well, we call it politics, but right it's now. politics. Yeah. So that's just like, say, for instance, I run with four or five people. I want to make sure they're on, they're on that show. That's just politics. I run with you, you're going to be on the show. Right. You know, because if we have an argument, Reno should have been on the show. Without he just want to knock Why off. Wasn't he never on a rodeo? A rodeo? It, you, it, he wasn't in the circle. Look, let me go this. Let me go here. Because we had a debate many shows ago. And I was trying to tell them about Houston and, and Texas rappers. Texas rappers, in my eyes, are different from a lot of other rappers besides Oakland, like California, because they independent too. Right. But Texas got an independent game, and they've been having it. So that's why the rappers down here are not popular <laughs> like the other rappers that's, you know, commercialized. Well, well let me say this here. Because look at Reno. A lot of people from there are coming here because of the independency. Yeah. 
Because you can come here and sell a million records. They can't do that in their home state. Yeah, right in Texas. So even in the 90s, they was yeah. coming here. You know, they always dissed us on records. Right. You know, they run their seed dissed us in, mm -hmm. in 80s, early 80s. Yeah. They all dissed us, but come here to make money, they come here to make money now. You know, most DJs from up north stays in Houston. Yeah, yeah. It's, what, it's the money mark. We always, but see, the problem with the Houston artists is they don't ever want to see their next brother make some money. Mm. So you're going to see the same circle. There's a dollar circulate. So let me ask you this then, since you said that. We're going to talk about, because SPC, all that, that was Houston. That's in, in, <laughs> at one point. That's all independent, too. Yeah. Only one one nation uh, on a major label was Nip and the Terrace. Look, Everybody else independent. I'm, I'm going to say this. From from about a good 1990, I'm going to just say from when I, when I was jamming, from about 90, 91, all the way to about nine, four-ish, nine, five-ish, it was SPC. Most mm -hmm. definitely. Then you had to transition to the screw. To the screw. Right. So bam, we're gonna talk about the problem in Houston with Houston artists and stuff, right? Okay. And just be we drank with your boy. <laughs> How did, yeah, just drink with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, just drink with your boy, man. Shout out to the screwed up click. Right. I'm just right. telling you, niggas was not feeling that shit when it came out. Well, I know that for a fact because I got older brothers. I love it. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm jamming it. Guess what? My older brother that wasn't feeling it, right. Kiki one of his favorite artists now. You know it, what I'm it saying? Was, it was all about generation. Yeah, the like change. I said, like I told you, when when they came up, it was a drug epidemic. Yeah. The same thing they were doing in the '60s. How so, did y'all accept it though? Like how did how well, we had to accept it? We, well, we didn't. Y'all in South Park? Well, in we the didn't change hood. anything because we all from South Park. They from Hershelwood. I yeah. stayed on Van Fleet. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we, we was we the OGs to them, but they didn't really, some of them, Kiki and all them really didn't accept us back then because they were younger. Yeah. But we were still making our money because we already established what we need to do. I was making money. I was making $1,500 to uh, $2,000 hmm. without, show, without even CD out. <laughs> so I was making money. Then I had my own independent record label. Excuse me. I just like I, I just like to cut. I want to say appreciate Murder One to listen, man. If you don't know to what we know, to I, I probably made more money selling records than you know hand over fist right. the cash to the hustle. Yeah. Then definitely to retail to hard copies to consignment to stores to man. We used to On pull, we used to yeah. pull up with boxes. Hmm. Of merchandise and product, and they buy direct yeah. to our number to tax the free. charge. Tax free. Tax free. Yeah. And then we got once we got the overseas market, it was over yeah, with. Square business. Totally. They they yeah, overseas yeah. was paying twenty five dollars a CD. Totally. That's like because yeah, y'all yeah, got to Germany and all we, this no, we got the, we got we got people in SPC overseas. So that I did a project. How overseas. that start? How that came about getting shout SPC overseas? SPC, well, I mean, and and shout out to you, SPC overseas. Yeah, too, uh, yeah, UK late. You know, my partner late. He came down here and hung out with us. He got affiliated to the click. Yeah. So first thing he started doing, he said, "Murder, I want to do a CD on you." So that that opened doors up. Then I first went to Finland. Uh, I think ninety. Me and Reno fought him with the Finland, I think, 93, 94. But the dude didn't have enough money. He told me he'd fly me out there just to hang out. And that's and going to Finland, that's a four-day flight. I'm mm. like, man, I ain't finna go out there, which I, would, I wish I would have, because when Reno went by himself, he sold 100 CDs right off the plane. And, and you know what, too? <laughs> right off the plane. Definitely, mm. bro. I want to tell him that when... We we transition from you know wax to digital or tape to analog to hey overseas they still doing they CD. were still kind of, they was behind so when we yeah, went to right. CD they were still on tape right when we went digital they were still on CD and then et cetera to up to per 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 the demand or to the request right yeah and yeah. to listen everybody overseas who I didn't get your order to to. Hey, we still got them coming to, you know, yeah, they hard, still, they hard, hard copies. copies. Yeah, they want hard copies because they like to read the credits in them. Yeah. They want to see who produced what, who did what. Because his, his, see, Houston don't have history. Artists don't have history. History was whoever hot last year. Over there, they, they go, to, you know, they ain't like New York. New York, you got to go through whoever was hot in 79 Correct. to know who they are now. Houston is whoever hot to this year is hot. 
And that's it. Let, let me ask you this. Why do you think why do you think that that screw era is still standing today? Because of the culture. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a no brainer. It's, it's co- everybody's still sipping. Everybody's still blowing. And everybody's still riding slab. So let me ask you this then. Why it go it goes back to say, you know what I'm saying? Why why nobody shed light on SPC? Like New York, they hold their hip hop guards and legends down. And one, I feel like Houston is a bigger, a big well, city. One, one, yeah. they fear people who who won't, won't kiss ass. That's one. Why? What? Because <laughs> nah, I don't feel like no, 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 stop. Yeah. I'm going to stop. Man, listen, you just asked him to what he said, right? Yeah. To the SPC, to, um, you know, rap a lot in Houston right. and. Let's not forget the Swiss House. Yes, yeah, we talking. We talking about conducting business Swiss House, Swiss House. Swiss House. Yeah. House with major labels right. to joint deals, right? So yeah. SPC, he just said dope to uh, Nip, and then Street Sign with Itchy Buns. So these these are deals right there. Yeah, Reno was on Itchy Buns, right? But, now, but, but, but when we say SUC, hey man, it was real simple. Yeah. To we talking about a big group. Of people, right. a diverse group of people that covered a big spread in right. the city to the right. business with the majors. Right. The SUC did more business with the majors to a bigger check. Because the access was Only probably better. Only through them. They had a better playing field. But the shit was huge. Well, so shout out to Young. Cause oh, the, yeah, oh, yeah, the, y'all the, open oh, yeah, oh. Hey, man, that, that, that shit ES, on the ESG? Yeah, that was big yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so when, when you did ESG and Biggie at the car show to... Yeah. Man, he represented for everybody to yeah. swinging and banging. Oh, uh, really? That was that was Southside Ace Time shit. To, yeah. We don't ride on dates. We yeah. don't and, and, then, and also, radio radio stations wouldn't play us because they was feared us. Yeah. Because we would check them in a heartbeat. We checked J Mac, had all that. That's back in the past. We're all to, cool now. To that was back in the past. Conscious rap to the message right, to the politics. Right. They because they, was, they didn't want to mess with us to conscious rap. Yeah. The politics rap. Because we always. No matter what album you go back and listen to, we always put something positive on it. SPC was conscious, you know I, what I'm saying? See, people, that's, that's yeah. what fear them. But then it started transitioning to some, you know, you got high with the blanks, the point blanks well, started coming out. Well, see, you know what I'm see, saying? It started that's why I said of, blank came from a different era. Uh, yeah. And to the screw factor, to the SPC. Right. To, and, then, then, and then he touched, he touched in with the screw thing. So, in a, not knocking blank, but anybody who I think would got screw to do something for him would blew up. Because yeah, it, it, it was Screw real. World. Yeah. Because when Screw passed, they thought Michael Watts came out with the Screw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, yeah. they were like, they thought he was Screw, but he wasn't because he was yeah. on the radio. Screw never was on the radio. Yeah. So a lot of that had to play. But for, for us, they didn't like the way we handled things. We handled like the mafia. Mm. Because we, we weren't going to tolerate none of that stuff. Ah! <laughs> I look, I, I look. I, when he said that, bro, I was going to say, so, hey, how you think the <laughs> Northside OGs feel to the transition? To yeah. D. Right, D. Trailer to, uh, Mike D. Yeah. To, hey, man. It's great. I'm just, uh, you know, I, was, I shouldn't say this story, but we know. Ah, no, say yeah, it. Go on, yeah, come on. Give, say it. It. give us a shot. Give us a story, story, man. You, you already fucked man, up. Man, uh, say it. Ah. Latroy La, La, La first group was anti nigger Machine, a and I remember that. Yeah. OG, Ro, OG style, Lil Roderick, Mike D. R.I.P. Mike D. See, Mike, Lala, D. Style. Mike D. was the second rapper in that. Mm-hmm. And, I know what you're talking uh, about. But, uh, yeah. you know, the reason I can tell this story, I forgot about it. Mike D brought it to us at, at Zero concert one night. Yeah. He said, Shout out to he Mike said, D. He said, man. And he wasn't talking about no slabs or nothing. No, no, no. Yeah. We battle rap. Yeah, what's his name? Yeah. What's his name again? Anti-Nigger Anti-Nigger Machine. Anti-Nigger Machine, A&M. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Conscious. Nip said, A&M, I'm going to suck your blood up. Remember that? Ooh. Remember Nip said that? Ooh. Yeah, so Mike, Mike D tells us at Zero concert in the back, and, and he was like, uh, he said, man, y'all tore our ass up. And I didn't know Mike D was in the group. Because uh, Lil Roderick used to stay next door to me. So when he came, he from, I forgot where he was from. So when he came to Houston, I had him battle Nip. I had him battle K. He was getting slaughtered from everybody I put him on. Bring it, because bro. he wanted to be a part of the clique. So when he got in the group, he tried to diss us. Mm. And so it, it's on all those platforms. a and we dissed him. We dissed him back. And Mike D was one of the guys we dissed. Yeah, and, uh, he he brought oh, it so up. Was Collat- 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 damage. Yeah, he, yeah. Was at, he was just at the wrong right pl- wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was that was part of history that uh, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know until Mike D brought it up. 
Yeah, shout, yeah, shout out to Mike D, man, and the Dirty Terry. Shout out around the time to the uh, Blank and the uh, DMD. Well, that, the, that came the before other, that. The other Point Blank. You talking about Point Blank out of Port Arthur? Right. And a, uh, uh, Point Blank, D, D, DJ DMD. Yeah. That, that, that. Well, see, that was more, so, that had to do with big time records thing. That really wasn't the SPC thing. Yeah. That happened with big time because yeah. they was all following Pimp C. And because we talk D. about the 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 notoriety to the mergers to the major Twin deals girl. to Russ oh. and Jive and Big yeah. Time. And so yeah, yeah, they had that. Let's do one that. time for your mind, right? Uh-huh. One time for your mind. When, and when I say it now, person, place, or thing, you give me the first thing that come to your mind. Okay. Right? Martell then, music. Yeah, I might, might say watch that music. Drink with your boy. And then I might say, Wait, let's man. pause for hey, the commercial okay. break. All right, Snow so Week, like, y'all pause, but check this out. And yeah. Give him a shot of water. We we, we <laughs> met B one them, yeah. And what was like ninety two B one? Yeah, yeah. When 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 y'all uh, AC was used to battle. I mean AC used to rap them contests at, that, at uh, the club like, over there. Like like ninety seven. That was ninety seven. Ninety eight. Yeah. So to, we, to to us, but to the actual to AC to that to. No, nah, AC died. In, uh, oh yes, he died in two thousand four. Let's 2005. say uh, ninety three. Okay, so that's when, I, I, that's when I, I we see. met them because Bang was producing everything. Yeah, we right. talked about that. And yeah, so, yeah, and so yeah, AC yeah. was at, at the turn. That was a turning point. Right. AC was winning the turning point, and then that's how we got cool with B One and Bang, Shells of the Shotgun, right, and all this other stuff. And uh, Bang, you know, Mo Bang, shout out to Mo Bang, shout out to Mo Bang. You know, they he was behind the scene, killing the scene too on the rap scene. And, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you something though. By B1. And I and I look, I just told you to RIP AC. AC we call them boys here. When I living. met AC on site, he was running the whole bitch. The whole to, thing, right? It was like first place for like ever. Let me tell you something. And, and we was battling for money. That's right. Let me they tell was you paying something. cash money for that shit. Let me tell you something about B1, right? It's why I forever always. <laughs> Gonna have the utmost respect for this nigga, like, right? You know what I'm saying? He probably don't know this, but I'm gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? Drink with your boy. Drink with <laughs> your boy. So when I was young and rapping, trying to do my thing, I was going to go record at Black Mike House. Shout out to Black Mike. Oh, yeah, Black Mike. Black Mike done you know two tracks for me. But B1 got mad. At Black Mike. That's forever. This is something that I learned. <laughs> That's forever. This is something <laughs> I learned. That's forever. But this is something I learned, though, <laughs> later <laughs> on. I had learned this later on when I was young. I learned it later on when I was young, though. And he he cut it for me and, you know, little crew up, Nino, little D, you know what I'm saying, when we, how we was running. He liked it us so much. And he didn't really have no just no great relationship with it, but he just always showed his love. That's how I met Bane, going to B1 mm. High. I mean, you need some CDs, come to my house, I got you. Bane pressed them up. But Already. He always showed love. But he charged Black Mike up, you know what I'm saying? It was like, nigga, you better not ever charge these niggas woo 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 and have them sounding like this when, yeah. you, when they come up out the studio. The and when I found that out that he was doing that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I always have the utmost respect for B1, you know what I'm saying, forever. Even though he'll talk to a nigga crazy sometimes. You just got to know B1. <laughs> I just know B1. Hey, look, and I'd be B1 like, okay, talk, I'm just we're, letting, we're, I ain't going to even say nothing. I, look, I feel talk like I got to put on your blazes. Hey, the persecution yeah. on drinking. Yeah. Me, me and B1 <laughs> probably only talk weeks. <laughs> he'll call me, man, I got your stuff for your help, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this, 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 this clean your colon, man. This a this help you drop weight. He just come out the blue with that stuff, though. Yeah. <laughs> Get on that alkaline water. So yeah. look, let's go one time for your mind. One time for your mind, man. I'm going to say it now. You're going to say the first thing that come to your mind when, you know, when I say like it. person, place? Okay. Person, place, and thing. Yeah. And look, ladies, y- y- twin ain't in here. Y'all can interject if y'all feel like y'all need to interject. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got no problem with interjection on the show. Like, y'all can do it. Uh-oh. Okay. Diddy. Who? Diddy. Well, you know, oh, I need, I, need I need one word. I need one word. One word. <laughs> yeah, one word. <laughs> one word. File. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this ain't this. Ain't, oh, this not overnight. We gotta talk about it though, bro. Like this, you know, drink with your boy. We gotta talk I feel about you, it. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna say kind of lightly. 
He's rich already. I don't entertain richness. Square business. Politics. Follow tricks. One word. Politics, politics. <laughs> Next. Yeah. I mean, if you want to talk about it, but no, no I mean, no, no, you said it. And Y'all said it. And, and next. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's about. Politics. Like, yeah, you say what you say. That's what it's Bitty, about. Five, yeah. Two, you know what rich, I'm saying? Rich, poor. Yeah, you say what you say. So a, lot of, a lot of that don't uh, contain ones who are trying to get there. The ones who get there, they, they, they can pay for themselves. Like, like R. Kelly. It's just R. Kelly. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant guy. You know, what he was doing, somebody knew he was doing it. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do it until they wanted money. Back to politics. Now, who going to leave a 15-year-old, 16-year-old girl in the studio at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning with a guy? Mm -hmm. It don't have to be R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. That sure got to be R. Yeah, for real. You don't yeah. have to be Kelly. Yeah. You know, you, you open the doors for it. You, man, go here. You just sit here. Then now, the, let's go stop for a mess. Yeah. Free. Carlos. Yeah, free Carlos. He got jammed up this time. It wasn't his fault. But he had the history of doing what they say he was doing and just got jammed up because he got that big record deal. Mm -hmm. Somebody wanted some money. I ain't finna give you no money. Okay, I got something for you. We know your background. The cost of doing business. Cost of doing business. Sums up right there. That's crazy. Cost of doing Let me ask you this because. You just said that South Park Mexican. He's a Texas rapper that got caught up into that. A Texas Wrong, legend. A Texas legend. legend. And, and he rapper. And he from, and he from the South. And he's going to be out in a couple of months. But and a lot of Texas like legends escape that kind of stuff because we independent and we stay Well, out. not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. The one they target, the one with money. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you're a rapper just coming out the wait, block. Wait, wait. And he said escape what? Yeah. I, escape like, because, you know, okay, so we're going to say like Diddy. You know, they trying to say that he pissed them people off up there. You know what I'm saying? Probably and, did. Okay, you want to play these games. Like, come on, bro. You know y'all been had. The, the, the tape was in 2016. Mm. Y'all been had this tape. Right. You release it now? Like, oh, come on well, now. That shit was like the R. Kelly, though. That's what I'm saying. Kelly right. was way after right. the fact. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. How do you have a money. tape for right. so long and now you want to release it? Uh, look, Kelly, his, his wife wanted to say something later. And you the white. Yeah. Come on, man. You know what, though? That should be a law, bro. Like, how are you going to have a tape since 2016? You wait till now to put it well, out. Well, let's, let's say this is Bill Cosby. Mm. His tape's in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? The, definitely with the, the statute of limitations. Yeah. Well, the system is made for the one with power to knock down, to obey or take away. I want to know how many celebrities can actually down somebody on tape and that shit is just being held in a vault somewhere like well, you boy know. you ever got damn me <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> see that's, that's natural to them yeah that's natural because people that want money gonna do anything for money yeah that's crazy. unless they got boundaries one time for your mind man we still on one time for your mind we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it on that on that vibe okay all right I had him on the show, you know what I'm saying? So I got it said, and then he was, he was on the screen just minutes ago. Mystical. Oh, wasted. <laughs> Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Conspiracy Fuck wasted. that. Per, listen, <laughs> listen, bro. Per, per circumstance, the location of what we said, and to the black man, to the business deal, to... He was the biggest rapper in the country at one point in time. In the world. Well, you know, when we and were, he did numbers. Yeah. He came out of Louisiana, bro. It, matter it was fact, high. Matter of fact, when we first came out on our label, Mystical came to our label and tried to get signed. But the owner said he didn't understand what he was talking about. Then when he left, he got signed to Jive. And he oh, was like, wow. that's the biggest mistake I ever did. To Jive and then the No best. Limit. Right. Master P. So he came to y'all first. He can't, yeah, because he was in the military. Yeah, he's in the broke, military. Uh, yeah. then I, I want to say this for me and my one, to, uh, yeah, to the 90s, you know, to the evolution, to what you said, bro, from like 92 to 97, hmm. boy, in that five year span, a ton of things manifested. Yeah. I took that still here substantially and mystical as well. Mm hmm. 
Mr. Katapes was popping and moving to the fact. music to Texas, Louisiana then. You know, to the barbershops, to the hood and shit. To, well, it was, it was just us in, in Louisiana anyway. So I, I got to ask this for two independent. One time for your mind. What's the last one? I want, I want, I want to go somewhere with this. Apple Music. Monopoly. Mon ah. Monopoly, bitch. Monopoly. Uh, controller. Yeah. Would you say control? Yeah. Cause look, you know why I said that? Because like I come from a I come from an era of rap where you can press up your music and you can go down the street and sell it for five, ten dollars if you want Most to. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? That's out now. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Not, that but, they like, like, <laughs> Not really, but you're gonna get some people looking at you like, damn, bro, like I can well, like, like you, ain't on, you ain't on no, what you on Apple? You know, they gonna look at you and, you know, ask you that. So it's like, you gotta spend all this money to create this music, and then you gotta upload it for free. Yeah, upload, you're giving it away for free. You're giving it away. Cause you're not getting no, really no real money nah, nah. on those on those views. So how, how do you, who you think put that in place to take money away from the, the man? Uh -huh. The man. <laughs> Like somebody just outsmarted the artist or something. Well, artists always been outsmarted. That's been automatic. Unless you, because if they were not smarter, they wouldn't take the 360 deal. Yeah. Well, well I don't want to say this shit. Listen, man. Independent to major to artist. As the artist, and to me, and Murder One, and all of the rest, too. <clears throat> DJ, promoter, artist, b-boy, battle rapper, hip-hop, breakdancer. Right. Hey, man, some artists don't, um, per the session to the creativity, yeah, they don't want to put the additional work in. Right, the man, you said it right there. Right, so, so you know, yeah. um, the price you pay of doing business for your creativity to mm -hmm. the effort to... I, I I don't know if they really just did you like well, this, that. Well, this is what I learned from from uh, you know, uh, could be. the artists. They were so in our era, they were so used to people putting money behind them. They didn't know how to hustle. They didn't know how to privilege. Press up a CD. What, what would you call like privilege? Ba baby them like a new kid or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, because oh, spoil. Because the only thing First back spoil. then, a lot of artists just had to show up to the concert. Yeah, us we had a book. We had a, yeah, we had to we had to book our own yeah. show. We had to go. We get up at night and go put posters around the whole city, yeah. and know that know in the morning they're gonna be gone because the city don't allow it to happen. But it didn't matter. We wanted somebody to see it before they snatched them down. No, All this back in our era, a lot of them had to show up at the concert and perform. That was it. And a dressing yeah. room too. You know, at the time, a sound right. check. And yeah. yeah, nah, we we put it in to Apple yeah. Music. Hey, once you once you uh, kind of release it to them or the platforms to you might well work on another project. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How you how how important? Which one is more important? Sticking to your original creativity, being yourself, or adapting? To the new way of how mm -hmm. music work mm -hmm. and putting it out for the bag. Well, they both work together hand in hand. You so, got okay. that down. So let me ask you this then. Right now, if you right now, nigga, they tell you then, right now, if you if you say you can adapt, right now they tell you to go in that boot and they gonna give you the beat. And you know, you put your backpack on with the little strap, you know, the little thing. You know what I'm saying? You talking about like a man purse? No, you right. know, you put the man, you know how it go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You do okay, that. Yeah. And then purse? you know, I'm, I'm I'm sliding the temper to the temper to the you do that and they go they got a million dollar check for you. The beat is everything in process. Do you do that? You mean you ain't is that selling your soul? Wait, wait. Is he actually the switch? Nigga ain't told you to do yeah, nothing. So. Oh, Nobody yeah. told you to do Mr. nothing Mr. in the other in the, uh, yeah, no man. nothing on the rainbow side. Okay. You just doing something just straight up, just rapping on a new little thing and they got a million dollar check for you. All uh, you gotta do is just they got the beat created. Wait, let me yeah. ask this here. Are you already established? <laughs> if you so already you established. Then that's the question. Yeah. If you ain't established, I go right in there and do it. 
<laughs> and get right. the bag. A stylist artist not gonna do that. Cause he said creative. Cause he gonna he, kill his fan base. Right. He said creative. Right. right. What you going here for? The, right. right. Okay. So then, thing. okay. So let me ask you this then. Do you think that artist? What is an established artist? Established artists already know his money coming. That's established off, artist. Off art. And also know. That's real. And also, not, yeah, yeah. And also know. <laughs> you with someone. Whatever I rap, they're going to accept what I rap about. Yeah. Let's, 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 yeah. let's, let's, let's use, I'm like, I always yeah. use Reno. Let's use Reno. You know what's going to happen on every album. Yeah, yeah. You know Reno he definitely not, can't He's he not going to bend yeah. over. Yeah. He's going to get it straight to you. You know what? Established artists. Yeah. Uh, what's this? One time for your mind? Nah, we done with one time for your mind. That was Apple Music. <laughs> Too we, short. We watch oh, Spotify. you're most, oh, most definitely. Hey, Reno. Yeah, most definitely. So, shit. Jeez. Man, what talk? Look, so what's what's your uh, what's your favorite era of hip hop? <laughs> the '80s, some of the '90s. Who y'all grew up listening to though? Like on the East, our East Coast influence. I mean, my favorite rapper is Chuck D. Plus the Kenny. Yeah, but I, I grew up on Ron DMC, Rakim, yeah, Karis yeah. One Eighty Eight. But uh, let me ask you this: So, mm -hmm. you know, Ice Cube, Scarface, they made the song. You know, you don't believe that song. That brother, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, oh, gangsters don't live. Shout out that's to that. the Isle Squad. Yeah. Um, NWA, yeah. the lynch mob, yeah. and they was woke. I just did the last yeah, boy, podcast. Boy. I did. Shout out to Zuda. Okay. Shout out to Var. Shout out. Last man. podcast I just did. You know what I'm saying? And we speaking from us. Right. You know, uh, music, music, I'm not going to say it messed us up, but maybe because some of our older... <laughs> People that was supposed to be in our lives were taken away, you know, either penitentiary, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. So all we had to do was go to school and we click up together and we operate how we operate, listening to the music. Mm -hmm. And we ain't got no older figures really in our lives to tell us, nigga, y'all tripping. Yeah. But we grew up on SPC, Killer Clan, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, kick, street military made Houston hard hit, kick oh, dope, yeah, bro. You bad. know we was kicking those in yeah. middle school. Like that was like that was the thing. Like you want to do a dope in middle school. That was our thing. I'm speaking for us. And yeah, I, 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 I was saying, that was an era. Yeah, that was an era. Everything went through an era. So it was a lot of positive rap back then. Yeah, no cursing. Cursing is going to like 91. So do y'all mm -hmm. feel like y'all responsible? For fucking up a lot of niggas in their forties uh, lives, no. Cause look, I'm gonna no. tell you, bro. Cause like y'all was making music. Well, I'm not gonna say y'all because SPC, you had your conscience. Wait, wait. But wait. then it switched to, to the to the the horror coach gangsta nip a tear skin a tag. Well, you gotta think the blood. You know we damn that shit. Everything came here before we did it. Huh? New York was doing it before we got here. They just well, wasn't we doing it. New York. Well. Uh, yeah, we was jamming oh, Houston. That's, all we, that's all we had to play. I mean, yeah, you. Oh, you saying y'all? No, I know that 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 eighties and nineties was this is New York. That would influence us to rap. They was fight the power though. No, that fight the power ninety one. It was it was Run DMC. Adidas was on some That's eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it went through channel criminal minded because in, in seventy nine it was the message. Exactly. You feel me? So then, don't push yeah, me. Yeah, don't push me. Because I'm um, then the you early the power 80s? influence to the rap message to the effect yeah. to the early uh, 80s would we'll turn it up by Kumo D. And self destruction and Adidas. You know, it was all error, but one thing I can say all is All in the same game. So. Right, that what I said what I personally say about people fucking up something, you fuck yourself up. Because if I tell you to put your hand on that fire and you go do it, that's because you want to put your hand on that fire. <laughs> and let's get so everybody want to blame somebody. Told everybody your ass, everybody don't put want to blame on somebody fire. except blaming themselves. Yeah. How long? Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Mu mu music is <laughs> entertainment. That's all it is. For the cops to do a business, we are right. entertainers. But if, yeah. but if you living that life, you are gonna say the music made you do it. Yeah. Right. If you living that life. To, uh, because music, that's a form of entertainment. TV, entertainment. They, don't, they don't do nothing what's on TV, but they do something with the music set. Right, yeah. we podcasting right <laughs> really? now to stream it to the platforms, <laughs> to the videos, to the extra. All this stuff. killing been on TV for years. Yeah. But Tell them again. The, 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 uh, the news will only report the black community was going on. They never put, reported the white community. Right. 
Look, what you coming from that that battle rap era, rhinestone? Yeah, and all yeah but anybody ain't nobody say go kill your mama. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Nobody, nobody say go rob, go rob this bank. In the midst of the battle. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Only ones who were living that life listen to the ones who said that. Look, let me watch the way I go with this. With you coming from that battle rap era, and you got the the Drake and Kendrick going on right now, right? Mm -hmm. That's not even a battle. Mm -hmm. That's not even a battle. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, look, look, okay, let me get your thoughts on that. Just the whole little thing going on, right? Money, now. money. Two, two, two rich people decided the they, they album's about to drop, and we're gonna have beef with each other. But guess what? It stopped now because now they're playing with the major label. The label said that you're messing with our money because you can't tell Drake up. You tell Drake up who's gonna make money for that label. See, now the label's hitting Kendrick. Yo, Kendrick, well, you let's need talk, to Let's out. talk to you, Drake or Kendrick. I'm not going to lie. I, I think Kendrick... No, 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 no. I'm not taking Kendrick. Let me see what I said, nigga. You little thought. I just looked I said, right I, said I think Kendrick... <laughs> you talking about the fans? Yeah, or yeah, I think Kendrick... Yeah. I think Kendrick... That wasn't like... He didn't come with the... Like, Pac, first off, fuck your bitch in the you clip. Can't you can't compare too. But Drake, too. Drake well, came know. with it though. <laughs> Metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Like uh, he came with it. Uh. <laughs> to the delete and deliver. He yeah. came with it to me. You right. know what I'm saying? To me, he Agreed. came with it. Kendrick, I think he came more lyrical, and I like, ah, uh, like if that wasn't a song talking about Drake, you right. you pop the charts right. again. But then like, nah, we wanted to hear. You know what I'm let saying? Me, let me say this for cut you off. Yeah. So he stayed to his original site. Kendrick, Kendrick stayed original. Right. He didn't change nothing. That's the way he regular rap. Okay, so if you was judging both songs. It depends what audience you have. You heard both songs? No, he I heard, said it, I, I heard he five said songs. He said it. Okay. You. Oh. He said if you, you judging, if right. you judging, listen to what you done heard from Drake and Kendrick. I'm still with Kendrick. You gave him the money to Kendrick. I, I, I gave Kendrick money. I'm giving the money to Drake. Because I get reason I'm giving Kendrick the money, he set him up for the right cross. With that family matter. And you saying, and, and we talking about per battle rapping, right? Right. I, I can agree with that. On the battle level. On the battle level. Because Drake make great music, period. Yeah. And he made one great battle rap one, song. One great battle rap. Right, and battle right. rap wise, Kendrick did what he did. That's on every why. song. Correct. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's biased because you're going to say Drake and something, but as a battle rapper or lyricist, you're going to go with Kendrick. What kind of nigga you got to be, though, to battle rap? Just think about it. You just want to be the best. You be the nigga face no, to face. No, you want to be a. Y'all just going to wrap it listen, off the tree in front you want to be the face. best wherever you at. I, no, I'm, I'm not. No, I'm I, just saying. I get that. Yeah. I get that. But I'm saying, like, you got to be another kind of breed of a dude. Right. Like, because I can't. I'm going to just say this. No. I know for a fact I can't pull up on a nigga and be like, come on, let's go, nigga, and we going to just go. Man, we just roll up anywhere. Oh, oh, he, oh, you saying battle rapper to artists? No, he's saying that type of person. He is. Yeah, like. He stands face to face with my battle. Yeah, your identity is how you wired, nigga. Like, oh, you yeah. wired well, different. If I'm, you can I'm pull say up this, on a nigga, no, no disrespect business, to the women. Just no round for round on some rap. No disrespect to the women. I'm going to say this. It's like an orgasm. You just want to release. You get a rush. Yeah. Because you just, you just tow him down in front of whoever was around him. So it's like, you can go clean yourself off now. It's done. Oh. It's a wrap. Cancel. Check Finish. out. Check out time at two. <laughs> Speaking of check out time, you know, they they curve the hours a lot with the shit too. Well, I know this might be a little far. Uh, look, I might I know this might be a little far. This yeah. might be a little far. And it's me still showing love. Right. Because I know I know Killer Calion, you know, he, Oh, he's a be a beast. A beast, right? Yeah. yeah. I know he he can pull up and do that battle rap shit. That's, that's in him. I know that for a fact. I just seen him do it live and direct. And I seen how he gets active. He get all in your face with it, everything. That's battle rap. I never seen K Reno battle rap. Is, well, is that like a heavyweight versus like a, is that like the Floyd versus Tank Davis fight? Like how that go? How kill? How does K Reno versus Killer Kali on battle go? I can't say that. 
Oh. I just I, I wanna just speculate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. No disrespect to um the KRS one. And we're not putting no. nobody against each other. Listen, no, 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 but I'm definitely not KR, doing that. KRS not trying to tear nobody down. No, 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 no think. KRS yeah, I don't one think Houston Houston I'm doing actually that. just showed you um You show it right. You saw uh, you saw uh, it right there. Uh, right. Let's say Go a, 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 a ego to a battle rapper's intentions yeah. to performance. Right. To a live band, no nothing. Right. Killer went first and then K Reno went behind him. So that would kind of show you what right. they think to they the deliver to the crowd. Yeah. To oh. now if you spunt all the people who freestyle and then print them first face to face, that would kind of be something different. Yeah, no, nah, because your your thing is trying to make him. You're trying to break the next person down. Right. You're trying to make him nervous. Trying to make him mess up his words. But Perfect. K wasn't like that. K, K, Battle the way the way K did. K probably hit you with a rhyme that you thought was his hardest, and you come with yours. It's, then he finna wrap you up with the next one. And then yeah. and then he set so you up for for the one. What two. kind of happened to the KRS thing? It was. Uh, you just had an audience to battle rappers to rappers to a live band. Yeah, so let them show. Yeah, let them showcase. Right. Yeah. But they but they could they put K on last for a reason. Yeah, cause he, yeah yeah. No, he, I call K to finish it. Yeah. You not don't let him go first, cause you you're not gonna be right there with him. Let him end that song. Don't let him don't let him start it off. Yeah, yeah, be right there with. Because the popcorn raps, you be you be a laughing stock. That nigga say, watch me run a thousand laps around your ass without stopping. I say, God damn. <laughs> yeah. You, and when you, bro, when you talking about battle rapping, yeah. so, or being an artist in good music, that was a, a lot of different parallels. Yeah, it is, because cause battle rapping don't use music. It's just lyrics. She, yeah, because you can battle rap a cappella. Right, I was saying, most of it a cappella, though. Sample to the new stuff is cycle. The new stuff is behind a beat. But yeah. Battle rap is no beat. Right. Yeah. Nah, that's that, you gotta re so you gotta be locked and loaded every time you're in the street with a battle rap. Yeah. If we it, gonna do it, man, beat. <laughs> you print, be the, print the beat. Uh back in the day, like Raheem, I'm not Raheem, uh Roman your poet, he had a beatboxer. Beatboxer beat on the desk, so we, I need yeah. some kind of tempo. Whatever happened to Raheem? Oh no, that's my dude. He, that's uh young Sam daddy. Wait a minute. So, so, so. <laughs> Young Sam? Yeah, that's his daddy, Romeo That's with, with, with Swisher? Swisher uh, Sam? The one who do the beats for Slim and all them? Young I Sam? So look, I kind of mm -hmm. thought that Raheem, right, He made when he made that Fifth Ward song, Fifth Ward, Texas. Right. Fifth Ward, you know, he said that, uh, he said, uh, 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 he said something about fifth ward, fourth ward, and third ward. And it sounded like he shot a dish toward the south side a little well, bit. Well, he was standing at home clock. He couldn't dish the south side. Exactly. He was standing at home clock. Yeah, because he used to come And he's from New York anyway. I, I know you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did Raheem and YZ have beef? I don't know. Well, you know, he dissed LL on his first album. That part. Uh, bring out... Uh, not bring out the shotgun. You had that. Uh, bring it on a shotgun. Some 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 song he had. He just LL. He was the first one just LL. Let's let's go back to the city. Let's go back to the city. <coughs> so you got north side. You got south side, right? And you know South Park Coalition. They was the first click. Then you had the screwed up click. They come in. Now I know me personally. I'm from the south side. I got people all over the north side. Right. When that north side, south side stuff was hitting, I never experienced none of that type of beat, right? This and that. Do you think that that was a real north side, south side beef, or it was a north side screwed up click beef? It was a screwed beef? up click beef. It wasn't a south side beef. Screwed up click beef, this and the north side, or every screw tape. Oh, every screw that. tape it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw, I saw, the, uh, we was at uh, Chocolate Town off of Little York. It would it would have been uh, us, DMD, and a uh, little Kiki. They wouldn't let Kiki out the limousine. They yeah. started rocking the limousine. He had to leave. So it wasn't. It was, I was all the shows I ever mostly did was on the north side. So it wasn't no beef. So how there's certain people that had beef with it. Right. During that little time though, like what was what was like you know what was the vibe going on back then? We, we know. I mean, for us there wasn't no vibe. We were going to get the money. We had dependent artists. Yeah. Now we we didn't diss nobody unless they dissed us. 
So yeah. we didn't have no issues. We didn't have to get on, make people follow us by dissing somebody on a song. We dissed them if they said something to us. Right. You know, we got a whole, you know, back in the day, Reno got a whole song dissing Jay Mac and, and Matt Hatter. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some stuff went on. But it's, like I said, now it's all cleared up. But back then, you just couldn't say nothing and get away with it. Yeah. I, let me ask you this. I know, I know. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And we, man, we talk about real deal Holyfield yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Man, yeah, your yeah. life on the line to All right. say I thought we, they treat us like the mob. Check yeah. So, and I'm, I'm going to ask you this because you saw Poor Coalition. Okay. I, Blank not here, but I, I just saw Poor Coalition. So I got to ask. Okay. What up, Blank? With the Pimp C and Blank shit that was going on back then. Because, mm. like, Pimp C, I mean, a lot of people don't realize that. That was a big oh, time. Oh, like, you want me to discuss it? I don't know. Definitely. I'm just saying, like you know, yeah, that's I'm what just saying. Cause yeah, when I yeah, said like, blank shit earlier, I mean, cause you know, right? you know, you know, what I'm saying. So like, well, you know, what it was to what was. I'm gonna say this. You need to get blank on your show. Well, black, goddamn, blank ain't gonna pull up on the motherfucker, man. I, that's his story. God damn. You know what I'm saying? That's his story. I know, I know, I, I know behind it. I think that's. But I'll be wrong to put blank story out that was there. A great as answer. a brother of mine. Great answer. Blank is brother of mine, so I can't. We got beef. In between whole click, I, I can just bring out and say stories. But yeah. well, what, 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 what are you saying to what what was his stance of view? Yeah, when exactly. the shit was what was happening? your stance like though? Like on that? Like, oh, you saying okay, right? But, oh, like when we rolled up on that boomerang on stage? And yeah, so, exactly. Oh, something right. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. see to what yeah. he's saying, yeah. right? Just let blank, now outside the dip, that let blank part, tell it. right? Yeah, most right. definitely because he gonna right. he gonna bring it to you. Blank right. gonna let you know. See now, if I say an answer and blank don't want me to answer that question. Now I gotta go back and man, blank gonna have words. But to what so, it was to But on the boomerang shit. Well the boomerang, I can tell you that. We ran up on the stage. Protect the home team. <laughs> yeah, they they doing a show in our city. That shit done to so, Yeah. You let Blank go to the details yeah, to what he yeah, is. Yeah, Blank to, go for the details, I can tell you that part. We gonna yeah, we Yeah, must, they know who he was. Remember that part. We must protect. You ain't come to the city and diss us and go be in the backyard and perform. Right. Nah. You can't do that. Hmm. Wait a minute. So you saying, nigga? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Nah, that's what's up. You said what he said. I'm, yeah, it's, I'm a different. <laughs> I'm a different. <laughs> like, like, I ain't gonna go there. Shit. And you know, Pimp C, one of my favorite artists, and that's man, cool. Look, man, Pimp used to talk on the phone all the time. Yeah. Pimp was to produce three of my songs, but when him and Blank got into it, he, I'm gonna tell you what Pimp told me straight out of his mouth. He said, "Man, you fuck with that nigga, I can't fuck with you." And when me and Pimp didn't talk no more after that, and I, which I can respect it. Because I run with blank, I don't run with pimp. Was but, pimp a hothead? Like I don't. Nah, like, pimp just pimp was who pimp was. Pimp got big. Well, as he got bigger, he he got arrogant. But that's always pimp. Yes, yeah, I. See, bun hung out in club. See, bun hung out in club. Pimp hung out at home. See, man, bun just runs clubs together. Yeah. Pimp stayed at the house, but when he started mouthing, that's when he started feeling himself. Because you know, pimp was like to run the. Pimp and Bond was like Ron DMC. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ron, Ron was the mouth and DMC was the cool one. That's right. what Bond was. Bond was the cool one. Word. Pimp was the run. You had a trail burger? Nah, not yet. You with the trail burger, nigga? You look, and Bill look, Bond used to goddamn me. Look at that. Shit. That's just, a, you know, no disrespect to Bond. One day I'll get there, but I'm not running to something I don't want right now. See, all these burgers in South Park, I don't have to go out there and get a burger. I tried the burger. I, park, yeah, for you know, real. I support my neighborhood. I'm a Crank black. Burger, real I, shit. I support the culture for real. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yo, is and, that like a beef burger now, or a steak burger? Well, K been there. He ate a vegan burger. K said it was good. Now, every time I be wanting to go, something happened where I don't go. So that's just they've been open. That's just not. Nice. I'm, I'm I'm a busy person. I do a lot of stuff. But this, we we <laughs> talk about beef, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You just can't ask me see a chicken burger. Yeah, it's a big as shit, too. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I want a chicken trim yeah, burger. Chicken. Well, yeah, I don't got that yet. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, since and then you know, and, and then <laughs> yeah, for you. And then, and then where it's located, it's hard to get to. No yeah. shit. Now, he had somewhere in this area. Yeah, he do got it located. Yeah, you, you got to go. He's you just got to be wanting that. that burger. See, most people go there and want to see who you gotta in You got to want that motherfucker to go no, there. No, they want to <laughs> see who in that building. Because yeah. they have a lot of stars in and out that building. So the average person, they want to eat there, but they want to see they want to see the Drake come out of there. They want to see the Too Short come out of there. They don't know who in that building at any given time. Yeah. Me, as being an artist and perform with a lot of them, they normal people like I am. I don't see them as stars. I just see right. them as everyday people. 
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Nah, that's, that's what's up, man. Shit. Talk, look, talk about talk about them days, man. Talk about the Timmy Tan on Van motherfucking fleet, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you talk know, about I played football days. for John, so I used, to walk, I used to walk to that one. Yeah. And the wing down was like dollar sixty five at that time. And that was the and that was the only one in the city at the time. The only one in the city. The only one. Everybody that come from out of town had that's like a landmark. So that was the first turkey leg hut, really and truly. Yeah, uh, well, turkey leg hut was just something different as a. Because you know everybody in the city West, from yeah. Atlanta, you know niggas come from everywhere. I want to go to turkey leg hut. So you said well, back the, then the people was wanting to go to Timmy Tan. Right today, they on Van to, Fleet. Right today, they want to go to Timmy Tan or they're gonna go to turkey leg hut. But yeah. see, like I said, again, Turkey Leg Hut had stars going in and out of there. Man. Timmy Tandy had stars going up back then? Yeah, we had Marvin Zilla in that bad boy. Yeah. yeah. We had Marvin Zilla was I mean, star, I'm just saying they wasn't, yeah. we didn't have the notori- notary yeah. that they have because people, they advertise it. You, you just come in and don't know who you're going to sit in there. Yeah. Right? You know, Big Poker had his own meal. And Timmy Tan? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, talk about that. No, po- no, no. Poker go there with Wing Dinner with. Uh, Shrimp fried rice with extra uh, extra shrimp, and they call it the big poke meal. Well, I don't know what they call it, but that's this meal out of Timber Chan. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Run no, that back. Wings with uh, shrimp fried rice with extra shrimp. Yeah, extra shrimp. Rest in peace, big. So poke if you walk in to the <laughs> location from Van Fleet to 16 to MLK to yeah, you can see the pictures at different moments to who endorsed or patronized. Well, well, they don't do the it now. Choices. They don't but do I'm it. saying from then to oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, knew yeah, the, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah but to it. now, he just said 165 and that shit like $12 for a goddamn yeah, one. Yeah, all right. Nine, nine fat wings. $12. Not, not a small that's one. crazy, man. That's inflation. It was nine wings, and they'd probably throw two or three in extra for yeah. you. And man, I was playing football crazy. at Jones. That was our meal after football practice. Definitely. Man, look, so what you think about what you think about this? We're going to go to producing, right? Mm-hmm. So let's say you're a legend. You're a Houston legend. Mm-hmm. Right? They ain't going to just say that I am a legend. No, 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 no. You are you a are Houston legend. Hey, you are a Houston legend. You are a Houston, <laughs> Houston legend. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You are a Houston oh, legend. Shit. No, for oh, real, shit. for real. You are a Houston legend. And you ain't never fucked with... Trying to see how can I work. You gonna fuck with Sean Solo? Man, I got he on my new album. All right, so bam. So you focus. I got Sean two songs solo. solo. Bam, you got one of the biggest songs in the city. Okay, come out right. Sean Solo made the track. Twenty five years later, you got a bunch of local artists <laughs> that remade the goddamn song mm. with the beat. Mm. And Sean Solo might have made the track, mm. right? Is that showing? Will you be fucked up about that, or would you like, like, man, I ain't tripping? Like, do y'all thing. Well, if he got his paperwork together, he ain't tripping. He gonna get paid regardless. Don't matter who do the track. He was the first one to do it. So it, it boils down to the paperwork at the end. If your paperwork right, I want everybody to use it. Music business, entertainment business. Music business, yeah. So, let me ask you this, because cause I had this debate, right? Who made Top Drop beat? Top Drop. Fat Pat. It wasn't, it wasn't hard. No, it wasn't hard. I beat. mean, it got to be somewhere it's in the Platinum circle Soul of Houston. Or something. Oh, Platinum Soul. Yeah, okay, I know you're talking about. So, uh, you know, it's it's uh, viral now. Like, they playing it on the Walmart right, commercial right. on TV, this and that. That goes to the paperwork again. Do the Platinum Soul got it or do the, the label have it? It depends on which one put it in first. All right, now I'm finna go deeper. Uh, I'm going yeah. deeper now. Mm-hmm. Fuck that, I gotta see it. So let's just say Murder One got a hit record. You got the top drop hit record in the city, right? Bam, you made this song in 96, 97. Mm-hmm. Two... Th- not gonna use you. Fuck that. <laughs> nah, cause I'm finna go. So I'm finna say something else. I'ma say. I'ma say Fat Pat. Okay. I'ma just use the whole. I'ma say what I'm finna say. Fuck right. it. I'ma use it like that. Fat Pat makes a song. Okay. Tops drop. Unfortunately, he loses his life. Right. Drops an album. This and that. Twenty two thousand twenty four. Song is on Walmart commercials. This and that. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's just say you were Fat Pat. Okay. And you got you left this world with a son when he was a baby. Mm. Lil Hope. Nah. No, I'm nah. just saying. It just said yeah. he left. He shout out to Lil Pat, Pat though. Yeah, right, right. I fucks with Lil Pat. Pat. Shout out to Lil Pat. Run C P B. But mm. let's say you Pat. Right. And this song is going viral on the Walmart commercials. Somebody getting some money. Most definitely. And your son not getting a check. But it, if it, you was it, to it, wake up out your grave, are you fine on motherfuckers? Well, in reality, <laughs> I hate to say it, he really ain't owe nothing. It depends on the paperwork. Legally, not. I want to say morally, we got legal and morals. Right, right. I'm saying, but at the same time, we had gangster record labels. Drug dealers at a record label. So that tell you a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it depends who had the paperwork. Hey, Lil Troy had the one real baller. A lot of them ain't here. A lot of them, was, the one was left was crying about what they got paid, but that's what they signed to get paid. I'm saying, but you, Pat. There's nothing I can do about you it. You wake gone. up and then you see your son here. Like, man, there ain't nobody holler at you about nothing. Man, look here. A drug dealer. Are they supposed to holler here. at them about something? Check this out. Let me reverse the game. A drug dealer will tell you, take this case, we're going to take care of you. But when you're locked up and don't take care of you, who, who fault is that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> who fault is that? Handy business. Yeah, it's all about business first. So it depends on what his business was. So it ain't no love. It's just... It's, it's never... In Houston, ain't no love in Houston. It never had been. Zero amount of love. Yeah. Yo, Every man for himself. Like the rap game is kind of tough, though. But can man. you? All right. So, all right. So let's just say you, you independent. Let's say you wake up. No, yeah. now, now I'm just saying. I'm talking. About I'm coming back to life. Yeah, you pat. Okay. You wake up now. Okay, uh, fuck. It ain't no love. It is what it is. No right. love. But you, you come back to life. But can't nobody know you pat. Right. You just in the back. Right. Nigga, don't be keep my name out your mouth then. Hey, they gonna keep your name because. Name cloud, but you're not that's showing. A, you don't, you don't even on, tap me on my son. Man, look that's here. what come with it. That man, yeah. Look here, Big Mello got a son out. Do people holler Big Mello son? For real. All right. AC Chill got a son out. You don't know what I say AC. I'm I'm about like one of the guys that throw AC name out every time I try to do something. I got a radio show that I make sure AC played on that. And so, since we're talking about it, tell them what the coalition ambush. Yeah, I got a radio show called Coalish Down Bush on KPFT 90.1 FM, also HD2. You can catch it on two, uh, Saturdays at 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at www.kpft.org, HD2. Wednesday mornings on 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. on KPFT 90.1 FM, Houston. You only get played twice a week. You only get played once. Shout out to CMC. Speaking of that, and Matt CMC. and Chia yeah. and everybody at the facility. Matt Gonzalez, yeah. All Speaking them. of that, yeah. speaking of that, I got to go here because you said 90.1. This now with the KTFT. On Wednesdays, when I was in that penitentiary. Matt right? Gonzalez. Right, that damage control. Damage Ma control. Ma 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 had to have it. The yeah. So are the we, we, we floating in the penitentiary on your show? Huh? We I got everything. Everything. Oh man, shout out, hey man, y'all look. Yeah, check I shout out. out to them every, every show. Yeah. Bars on lock all the time. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna tell you like this right here. Bars looking forward to listening to it. Man, look. Like, but you just don't know how damage control niggas is. Oh, looking I know because I was interviewed before I got the show on that station. I've been got interviewed and played so much on damage control. Right. But when I got it, uh, I negotiated my deal because what I did. I don't play number independent artists. I don't play nothing but independent artists. Yeah. But uh, if you don't have, if you're independent and need, I got songs from Atlanta, uh, UK, Canada. I play anything independent artists all the time. Mississippi. Let's go Alabama. into that, bro. Let's yeah. go into that. Like how you too. got in the radio? Like how you transition? Cause like that's that's real transition to me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I, I, was, I was a DJ, so it, it, it came easy. And then, then I, I'm a trendsetter for the culture. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm for the culture, and I'm a trendsetter. I don't, I don't uh, settle with nothing. Yeah. Anything I try to put my mind to, I try to accomplish. Don't matter Coalition what it is. Ambush Radio, and that's right now. Right now, it was on the day. Yeah, got one of the coldest DJs, DJ CFC. 
Fact. So being being in radio, you know what I'm saying. What what can you tell a, a independent artist that's out there right now? That's what I tell them. If you, and, I can speak on my late, on my show. Originality, quality, and be yourself. Period. I don't. I don't ask them to send me particular songs. I ask them to send me clean songs. Cause I can't play cursing on my show, but just send me some clean music. Be one what'll happen when you send me some clean music. Hey, it's gonna be played nationwide, that week worldwide. Or that week. To so if you out there in Minnesota right now and you hear this, send it to them. So what, what, what they need to send the music to? The Coalition Ambush at Gmail dot com. MP3 your music with all your information. And shout out to late in the UK. So if you're right. overseas, to Australia, Over, uh, uh, or Lean Germany, Simple. Lean Simple, Lean Simple Germany, Germany. At, as well, to uh, SPC2G. Coalition Amber. That's right. Shit, man. Look, we're going we to we get up show. out of here. Because uh, I'm And I'm the social overdue. circle and cake and the show. Uh, to, uh, uh, man, shit, send in man. and we'll get it out. And That's right. The show must go on. Drink a motherfucking shot. For, I'm gonna drink a shot before I go. It's PC to oh, the end. Drink shots mm. out. Drink with I your go. boy R.I.P. AC. Also, RIP screw. also join my YouTube page. I got two new videos up. S P C M U R D R O N E. And you got me. Square business, Why man. Not? We got the South Park legend. S P C original. Yes, yes, yes. We got the most city. Legend, the young gunner, the young OG. gunner, be one of the young gunner. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Drink with your boy, drunk with your boy. <laughs> we got the merch done with your boy. I don't know everybody on that table. I know my nigga SMG, <laughs> like the JB. And Texas Gear and Sneak Five Texas and Gear, Sneak Cloud Five Drive. on yeah. that table. And we need more hats and more sponsors. Touched by twin earrings in the hey, building. You know what I'm saying? So, so. It's going down, down. and there it is. Just Drink like with that. your boy. SPC for life. Bam. Uh.